Greetings, friends. Welcome back to the Crypto Domus Astrology channel, where we do some astrology education about upcoming astrological events, such as aspect geometric aspect patterns, uh, planets that go uh, into station into retrograde or direct, and planet ingresses into new signs. And we talk about a lot of different astrological events and try to understand what they mean and, and what kind of events we should be looking for in the world and how that's all going to affect us personally. So today I'd like to talk about one of the main aspect patterns or the main aspect pattern for June of 2023. It's also one of the main aspect patterns for the whole year of 2023. And the good news is it's a very favorable pattern. It's the Jupiter Saturn sextile. So it's a harmonious 60 degree angle between the planets Jupiter and Saturn. And that is part of that. This one is what we call a waxing sextile. So this is the first major aspect between Jupiter and Saturn since the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction of 2020, December 2020. I'm going to go over to my astrological software program, which I'm using right now is lunaastrology.com. And you guys can sign up for that too with my name, Crypto Domus, uh, for a discount. And looking back to around the solstice of December 2020, we saw that we had the very important Jupiter-Saturn conjunction at zero degrees Aquarius. In ancient Hellenistic astrology, this was probably one of the most important of all the aspect sequences was the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. It only happens about once every 20 years. And it's one of the main markers of time in ancient astrology. In modern astrology, of course, we have the outer planets, and those are uh, outer planet, uh, the outer planetary geometric cycles in modern astrology tend to actually mark longer periods of time as well. And those are very important. But in traditional astrology, the Jupiter Saturn conjunction, opposition, and then conjunction were major parts of a 20 year time cycle that indicated the beginning of new eras, new periods of time. So we had that in December, around December 20th, 2020 at zero degrees of Aquarius, starting what many people call the kind of Aquarius age, um, bringing a lot of themes of, of Aquarius into play. Um, and some of those were positive, some of those were negative, but it's an, it was a new growth cycle. It's the beginning of a new 20 year cycle. The Jupiter Saturn conjunction cycle is about 20 years. So the next one will be in 2040. And or somewhere around 2010, we're going to have the opposition. So this year, um, we can see now if I set this to the year to toggle it per year, and we go ahead um, a couple years here. Actually, now we'll we'll go ahead to the months. You can see Saturn and Jupiter slowly kind of moving apart. Right, Jupiter was in Aries, Saturn was still in Aquarius. Now we we get into March 2023. Saturn has moved into Pisces. And then Jupiter just recently moved into Taurus. And here you here we, we have the exact sextile between Jupiter and uh, Saturn. Sorry, I'm off by one month. Okay, here on June 19th, we're going to have the exact sextile takes place between Saturn at seven degrees Pisces and Jupiter at seven degrees Taurus. So this is, like I said, a waxing sextile. Jupiter has now moved 60 degrees away from Saturn. And this is very favorable because it brings out, they in this sextile 60 degree angle, the planets bring out the best qualities of each other in a way. And they're very complementary to each other. So what does that actually mean, right? So Jupiter is a planet that represents abundance and good luck and good fortune and prosperity, the ability to expand out, the ability to envision the bigger picture, the ability to uh, dream and uh, to come up with uh, our bigger picture life goals and dreams. Jupiter doesn't necessarily give us the details. Jupiter doesn't necessarily give us the discipline. That's where Saturn comes in. Okay. Both of these planets actually represent wisdom. So when they come together, but different types of wisdom, when they come together in the, in the sextile, it really represents, it really represents balance and wisdom between the forces of the universe, because Jupiter is about expansion and good luck and abundance. Saturn 
is about hard work, discipline, and focus. Okay. So now Saturn can also have some difficult qualities. It can be overly strict. It could be, can also represent difficult karmas and challenges and stress and struggles and, and painful situations in our lives, obstacles. However, from with the sextile from Jupiter, it really brings out more of the hard work, discipline, focus, mastery, especially in mastery of the details. Okay, so you put these two planets together and you have the ability to take that bigger picture, dreams and visions, our highest ideals as represented by Jupiter, and to bring them to fruition in the material world through hard work and discipline and a practical approach of Saturn. So Jupiter gives us the big picture and Saturn gives us the details. Jupiter gives us freedom. Okay, but Saturn gives us responsibility. So there you have a perfect balance also between freedom and responsibility, between our ideals and also taking care of our practical responsibilities. So this is a very, very favorable aspect. It's one of the most favorable aspects in astrology. And so it kind of is in effect for much of the rest of the year. Although Jupiter will Jupiter and Saturn, they will move quite far apart, but they will come back together again in December, January, and February of next year. They will not make another exact sextile, but they will get very close together again. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a bit. So you can see this is a very harmonious aspect that is very favorable. And uh, depending on where this is aspecting in our own charts, it will bring us good fortune and good luck and the ability to bring our dreams into that practical, into the practical material, material world. So Saturn is also good for long-term planning. I mean, Jupiter is also confidence and optimism, whereas Saturn is caution, right? And I mean, Saturn can be fear, but in this way, it's kind of like it prevents things from getting euphoric and overly optimistic which can happen and overly confident, which can happen to Jupiter. So here again, you have that perfect balance between optimism and confidence, but also practicality and, and some caution, some caution and a very realistic view. So again, when these two planets come together in either the 60 degree sextile or the 120 degree trine, it's extremely, extremely favorable. So this bodes well, especially for June, I think for mo most of June, it's you, historically, this is very favorable for the economy and markets. And so I think that um, this, especially the stock market will do quite well in June. You know, there will be bad days. There will be some ups and downs. Crypto, obviously, this is not a crypto specific aspect, but I think it does have some protective mitigating quality for some of the crisis that's going on in the crypto markets right now with the securities and exchange commission suing Coinbase and Binance. But even though the price dipped for a couple of days, it wasn't a catastrophic crash out. So um, I think there is a, a overall kind of a protective quality uh, for the month of June. And uh, it's it's a good election. It's an auspicious around that date of, of June uh, 19th, especially if you can get like a a Sagittarius or or maybe a Sagittarius rising would be good. You know, it emphasize Jupiter. In particular, there is a very favorable uh, alignment the day before. Uh, because what happens on the 18th is that Jupiter will be approaching Saturn, and that's the most kind of favorable right before it hits exact on the 18th. Uh, and then you'll have the moon at seven degrees Cancer also, and that's going to sextile Jupiter and trine Saturn. So, uh, and especially if you got a little bit earlier there, a few uh, minutes earlier, uh, that would be uh, more favorable as the moon was um, approaching that sextile to Jupiter would be important. Also, um, let me, yeah, so also if you got, if there's any way, to, yeah, let me see if there's, if there's any way to get, uh, if there's any way to get cancer on the ascendant, that would be, that would be good, but then you would lose that degree of the moon. This isn't the moon in the eighth isn't necessarily the best, but the moon will have dignity in Cancer here on the 18th, and especially on the West Coast Pacific time around, you know, four to five p.m. It will be approaching uh, that it will be approaching that sextile to Jupiter, so that would be uh, that would be quite favorable, uh, especially the moon having dignity in its own home sign 
and approaching that perfect sextile to Jupiter and trying to Saturn. So that would be a very favorable, um, that would be a very favorable, if you could get the ascendant and line everything up right, that would be a very favorable, a pretty auspicious election for kind of business or professional projects or something of this nature. Um, so yeah, this is finally, you know, we've gotten through a lot of the worst aspects of 2023 so far, actually. I mean, we had, you know, Saturn and Pluto ingress within a, a week or two of each other in March. I mean, I think that was kind of stressful. We had the eclipses on April 19th and May 5th. Those were pretty difficult. Um, of course, we had that the banking crisis during during that period. And then in the middle of May, we had that Mars opposition to Pluto with a Jupiter apex T-square. And of course, we had this debt ceiling crisis standoff between the Democrats and the Republicans that was uh, threatening to default the first ever U.S. default on its obligations. And that was quite that was also a crisis. So we've gotten through a lot of the worst aspects of 2023. And we finally have some good news here. We have some good a very good aspect for June. Um, now, you know, I would say this is going to be in effect for about that three or four weeks. It's really starting to take effect. Now, if I just update this to the current chart, um, Jupiter is now at four degrees Taurus. It's about to hit five. So it's getting with under three degrees of the sextile. So the energy is building up now between now and the 19th. So for the next 12 days, the energy is approaching and the energy is ramping up and hits exact on the 19th. And then it will start to separate. It will still be in effect for the rest of June, but then it starts to separate. Um, there is one kind of unfavorable aspect in June that we may also want to, um, you know, just be aware of. And it's on the 26th, and that's going to be Mars um, at 21 degrees. Leo is going to square Uranus at 21 degrees Taurus. And this is kind of a dangerous aspect. It's not a major aspect pattern, but for two or three days, it can bring a sudden collapse of support levels in stock and crypto markets. It can bring sudden accidents, uh, major accidents. It can bring sudden unexpected chaotic events um, and danger, dangerous explosive events, gun violence, uh, things that have to do with international wars and conflicts that happen very sudden and explosively. Um, also, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or very violent, powerful storms can occur during that time. So that's really an effect from about June 24, 25, 26, 27. Um, and so that's, and then that, you know, the protective quality of the Jupiter-Saturn sextile is already kind of starting to, starting to fade a bit. So those are the two major aspects I wanted to share with you um, in in uh, my little video for today, um, I am offering, going to be offering some discount um, readings for June, excuse me, for July and August. I'm offering a summer 10% discount off of my financial astrology consultations, my uh, general astrology, personal private consultations, also at astrology tutorials and my online financial astrology coursework you can get a 10% discount off of any of those things. If you just use the code DAMUS, capital D-A-M-U-S, if you're interested in having a professional private astrology consultation or reading, please let me know. I'm going to drop it in the comments. I'm going to drop it in the video description for my online store. And again, this is booking for July and August now. I'm booking out into July and August, and I'm making some additional slots for consults and readings this summer. Um, and I am offering this 10%. So uh, a financial astrology private consultation is $300. Use the code DAMUS, you'll get a $30 discount. The general reading is $250 for, these are for a one and a half to two hour private consult. And uh, so that would, you would get a savings of $25 there. An astrology tutorial is $150. You would also get, so you would get $15 off there. Um, so I hope that information was helpful for you guys. And then we'll, we're going to do a video. Uh, we will talk about the Venus retrograde that's upcoming in July. I'm trying to get a special guest astrologer to talk about this one. So stay tuned for that. 
And thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And um, we will uh, see you guys soon.